As he gets ready to relaunch his career, Philip Schofield reportedly plans to publish a tell-all memoir about former This Morning co-star Holly Willoughby and ITV, along with Vanessa Feltz, who he was seen having dinner with earlier this month. The 61-year-old presenter is in talks with senior top to bosses about a role on the channel. Following his admission of an unwise but not illegal connection with a much younger colleague earlier this year, ITV was rocked, and the anchor abruptly left the network. This morning has been under fire in the months since the controversy broke, with ITV employees being questioned about exactly what they knew about the situation. As a result, the network announced they were hiring Jane Mulcahy Casey to carry out an external review to establish the facts. And now, after being contacted by several book publishers, a new report claims that Philip is prepared to provide his account of the events in a new memoir. According to reports, he intends to draw a line under what transpired in what may be an incredibly compelling account that has the full backing of his family. According to a source who spoke to the Mirror, Phil has been approached by several book publishers, including Harder and Stoughton, about writing a new memoir in which he expands on his experiences with This Morning, Holly, and his imploding ITV career. In the conversation, he made it plain that while he would welcome the opportunity to share his experience in its entirety and, in some ways, put the past behind him, he would not do so without his family's consent. While he has been going through hell in private, Stephanie and the girls have been his lifeline the entire time. Therefore, until he has spoken to them and they are comfortable with him moving forward, no further negotiations will take place. For a response, Malinline has gotten in touch with Philip's spokesman. On a night out with Vanessa earlier this month, Philip was seen grinning for the first time in weeks, sparking rumors that he would join her at Toktiv. As they left the Little Bird restaurant in Chiswick, West London, the two were observed. Schofield assisted his close friend into her car before leaving on foot. According to people close to Schofield, his pals want him to believe that he can live a fulfilling life outside of show business. Philip has been very, very down recently. One person told Malinline, he is unsure of how he will resume his employment. He is fairly certain that he is finished. He frequently states that he won't ever work again, although it is upsetting for him to realize. He is also aware that there is little he can do to change the situation. He is aware that there is no way to return to ITV or the BBC, but he is unsure of who will take him. Andy Barr, the CEO of Ten Yetis Digital, asserted that Philip might go back to work in the future. On Saturday, the TV specialist told the Daily Star that Toktiv might be the platform Schofield needs right now to restore his career. If the current media attention does not turn up any fresh allegations, he will be able to rehabilitate completely, and Toktiv might be the ideal setting for him to relaunch his career in a prominent media setting. The external examination of the facts surrounding the crisis will be led by Jane Mulcahy Casey, who will publish her findings in September. According to reports, Holly is one of several This Morning employees who have helped Jane with her inquiries. Senior ITV executives, including CEO Kevin Ligo, have also been contacted in the midst of the investigation. She, Mulcahy, has been talking to everybody involved. They take your phone and look at every single text you've ever written, email, WhatsApp. The ITV managing director revealed this week during a speech at the Edinburgh TV Festival. Since everything is available, many interviews have been conducted, and she has spoken to everyone. She will likely make that public as soon as possible, but probably in September. He continued, we do, trust me, take it incredibly seriously, in reference to how ITV manages duty of care. We have nothing to hide, the statement reads, if we can modify and improve our procedure we ought to do so consistently. The veteran presenter's affair with a much younger co-worker has put IEV executives under pressure to reveal what they knew and when.
They previously declined to respond to inquiries from the Mail regarding the investigation they asserted to have conducted in 2020 and whether a fresh investigation would be launched. ITV's first admission of possible misconduct in the affair came earlier this year when People Chief David Osborne alerted colleagues of the review in an effort to calm increasing unrest. Chief Executive Carolyn McCall, who is under pressure, wrote nearly similar letters to Dame Caroline Dinanage, Lucy Fraser, the chair of the Culture Committee, and the TV regulator Ofcom. You will have seen the significant media coverage concerning Philip Schofield. Dame Carolyn wrote, We take the situation very seriously and have gone over our own records over the weekend, as you might anticipate. When rumors of a relationship between Philip Schofield and an ITV employee first started to spread in late 2019 or early 2020, she claimed ITV launched an investigation. Both parties were subsequently questioned, and both emphatically and repeatedly rejected the rumors, she continued in her letter. Additionally, ITV spoke with a number of individuals who were a part of the This Morning team as well as the larger daytime team. They were not given and did not discover any proof of a relationship beyond hearsay and rumor. We kept asking both sides questions in light of the persistent accusations, and they both kept denying the rumors, even as recently as this month. The former production assistant, however, claimed this week that he was never questioned by ITV about the relationship. According to sources close to him, after the assistant and Schofield enjoyed playtime Thursdays, Eamon Holmes, who hosted the Friday edition of This Morning until 2021, stated the young lover was driven to work from Schofield's house in ITV Texas. The letter from Dame Carolyn concluded, We have now asked Jane Mulcahy KC, Blackstone Chambers, to conduct an independent investigation to ascertain the facts. She will look over our documents and speak with everyone involved. This work will also take into account our pertinent procedures and whether any need to be strengthened or changed. Ms. Mulcahy, 62, represented the England and Wales Cricket Board earlier this year when it accused former England captain Michael Vaughan of being racist. The accusation was ultimately dropped. She also supported former BBC China editor Carrie Gracie in her triumphant battle for equal pay. In a shocking admission to the Mail, Schofield acknowledged lying about an on and off connection with the man that occurred while he was still married to Stefanilo, the mother of his two adult daughters. In her letter, Dame Carolyn promised to set out some facts in response to what she perceived as a lot of inaccuracy in the reporting. According to the Mail on Sunday, Schofield met his partner when he was 15, and the presenter was in his late 40s. They had met while the latter was doing a favor for a friend by giving a talk to a theatre school. After the would-be runner turned 18 and moved to London to work on this morning, they started dating.